In this video, I'll show you how to get started with the DevExpress ASP.NET Gantt component. The Gantt is a project management tool that enables you to organize and manage tasks. It uses the Microsoft Project Style UI to edit and scale tasks, track a project's progress, and important deadlines. The Gantt Chart UI allows you to add, update, and delete tasks, reassign resources, and change dependencies between tasks. You can zoom the chart to see relation between tasks in detail. The next demo illustrates how to make the Gantt more convenient to review work processes. You can change date intervals on the time scale. The Gantt can hide task titles or display them within or next to tasks. You can assign resources to tasks and display or hide them in the chart. You can specify the work time, work days, and holidays. Now let's move to Visual Studio. Drop the Gantt component to your ASP.NET page from the Visual Studio toolbox. You'll find it under DX and then the version you have installed. Here, it's in 19.2, the Data and Analytics category. Click the Smart tag to get quick access to the most popular Gantt settings. The Gantt is a data-bound control and gets its data from a database. You can refer to our documentation page to get detailed information about data binding in the Gantt. You can also use a test script from the Microsoft SQL Server topic to create a new test Microsoft SQL Server database, the Development Gantt Database. The Gantt control requires separate data sources for tasks, resources, resource assignments, and dependencies. Let's configure a data source for tasks. Choose the New Data Source option, select the Microsoft SQL Server database, and create a new connection string for it. Then select the columns you want to include in the data source. We now have a new SQL data source that is bound to the Gantt tasks. Repeat this step for each table, task dependencies, task team relations, and teams. The DevExpress ASP.NET Gantt has the task list that displays hierarchical task structure and the chart that visualizes tasks. Let's add the title, start date, and end date columns to the task list. Now specify mappings for the Gantt's tasks, dependencies, and resources. Mappings specify which field in a data source corresponds to an object's property. Call the DataBind method in the page init event handler to provide data for the ASPX Gantt control on each callback. And that's it for this video. If you'd like to learn more about our ASP.NET Web Forms controls, you can watch more videos from our playlist, or check out the documentation on our website. You can also subscribe to our channel for all of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.